let's learn how easy it is to track users creating and modifying records in our application. I would like to go ahead and track all users, inserting any new customers, as well as modifying any existing customer records. For this purpose, I'll need to add some extra columns to the Customers table. Let's add four extra columns to hold the required information for each record. Let's go ahead and add foreign key references from created by and modified by to the users table. In my database, I'm using the basic custom membership configuration. However, I've added the full name column. I will be using this column as the alias field for our user lookups. This technique allows users to be able to track down the creator and modifier of a record without exposing usernames to every user of the system. Go ahead and save the changes to the diagram. Next, let's go ahead and create an app using Code on Time Web App Generator. Provide a name for your project and press Create. Press Next. Let's connect to the database. Let's go ahead and add a few models. First, we'll want to start with customers. Notice that our customers model has automatically configured lookups pointing to the users table for both created by and modified by. However, it's automatically picked up the first required string field as an alias. In this case, the field is username. Instead, I'd like to use full name. Notice that adding the first string column in the table has automatically marked it as the alias for the lookup. Let's go ahead and change some of the labels for our created by and modified by fields. Finally, let's drag company name to the first position on the field list. This will generate a nicer UI on the grids and forms of our application so that the first value that the user sees is the company name, followed by the actual customer ID. Go ahead and save the model. We'll also want to create a user's model to ensure that our user lookups will understand how to pull data from the database. Go ahead and press Next. Let's enable custom membership. Our configuration has been automatically picked up. Go ahead and proceed to the Features page. If we wanted to, we could add business rules, configure field accessibility, and make other changes to our application to make these fields controlled and act as desired. Instead, I'll take the easy approach by using Ease Configuration. Let's go ahead and initialize the sample audit field map. Notice that the field map will map a set of predefined fields on the left side of the equal sign with a regular expression on the right side. Any fields that match the regular expression will inherit default configurations based on the field type. We will not be tracking the modified by username audit field type, as well as the created by username. Our modified by user ID field will match the pattern modified by. 
Same with created by. Our modified on date and created on date will only use a single pattern. Our audit field map is ready. Let's go ahead and see how it works. Let's go ahead and insert a new customer. There's little purpose to complicate our create form by displaying audit fields, of which we'll already know the value. Therefore, these fields will be hidden on the create form. Let's go ahead and reselect the record. Notice that all the audit fields are populated with the correct values, the current user full name, and the created on time when I created it. If you are logged in as an administrator, you'll be able to view the details of the user by clicking on the lookup reference arrow to the right of the field value. Let's see how this works when I log in as the user profile. that the modified on time and the modified by field have been updated to just now and the current user's full name. Audit fields are a great way of keeping track of what information is being changed by your users in the application.